I want to thank you for viewing uh, these videos and today I would like to have us consider a place in God, a place in His very presence that we can live and that we can abide and that we can find peace in times of turmoil. The, the times that we're living in right now are times that are uncertain, that are perilous times. I believe in Timothy it says that we live in perilous times. Times when there's fighting and there's anger and there's unsettledness uh, in our economy and in the world and in the church world and, and even in our families. Uh, there could be some, some trials and tribulation. You know, but King David, if we look at Psalms 23, the very first verse says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. King David found a place in God, in the Father, that he could rest, that he could find peace, that he could worship the Lord. You know, and as he watched over his sheep and he played his, his harp and he worshiped the Lord, then he entered into that place of peace. If there's any time that we've been living in, it's now that we need a peaceful place. A place where we can know in our heart of hearts that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A place where we do not have to worry about where our food is going to come from, where our electric bill is going to, how it's going to be paid, our mortgage, how it's going to be paid. Our rent, how is it going to be paid? Our ministry, how is it going to prosper? Our children, how are they going to be safe and protected? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. King David found that place through praise, through worship, through listening to the Father. I believe that God came there among the sheep and fellowshiped with the little shepherd boy named David. And if we read on, it says, King David says, He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. And my soul is my will, my emotions, my feelings, my mind. More people at this time are on medications to help control their emotions and their feelings. So many people in a state of depression, so many people in a state of pain, so many people in a state of, of trouble and torment. King David found that place in the presence of Almighty God. And I believe that we need to find that place. I believe that we need to be able to praise and worship our God and let Him come and inhabit us, live with us, abide with us. You know, in John chapter 10, it says that His sheep, God's sheep, and we are God's sheep, His sheep hear His voice, and a strange voice they will not follow. They're not going to follow a voice of defeat. They're not going to follow a voice of, of intimidation and guilt and condemnation. They're not going to follow a voice of sickness and disease. 
They're going to follow God's voice. The voice that's going to say, you can make it. A voice that says, you're healed by the stripes of Jesus. A voice that says, I will be your provider, your Jehovah Jireh. And just like God put it in, in King David's heart, that he was his shepherd and he was going to provide for him. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That is a powerful statement. If we just speak it out of our mouth. My God. He is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The one that made this universe. The one that created all things that we see with our natural eye and all things that are invisible, all things that are in heaven, all things that are in earth, he has made. Today, I want to encourage you to let God be your shepherd, to let him lead you and guide you by the still water. Let him put you in a place of rest. Let him put you in a place where you can be fed where you can grow, where you can have all of your needs and wants met. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I pray for you today that he will be your shepherd, that you will enter into that place that King David entered into as he played his harp and he praised and worshiped the Lord that God came and was his provider. I pray for you today, if there's sickness in your body, that it has to go, it has to flee in Jesus' name because he is the restorer of your health. He is the restorer of your finances, those that have lost money in their businesses, those that have lost money in the stock market, those that have been uh, unwise in the management of their money that God will restore your finances to you. God will restore your 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 mind if there's anything that the enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy. Marriages are being restored right now. Children and parent relationships are being restored right now. In Jesus' name, we thank the Lord that he is our shepherd. Thank you for